Hey coders, in the last video uh, you probably saw how we got the spaceship flying with a little bit of a space style movement, right? Drifting in space here. Uh, what we didn't go over was when I go off the screen, how do you get the ship to wrap around? Now this may be something you either want to do or not want to do, but left side of the screen, right side of the screen. I know GameMaker has a function for this, but what I'm going to do is just give it to you in code. That way you're free to modify it and uh, make it your own. So here we go with the screen wrapping. Basically, I've done it in the player code in the step event. So this is always happening. It's doing quick checks. And basically, after the player has been moved, I'm just doing a quick check here to see if I've gone past the right side of the room. So if you know the size of your room, you could type in a value here. Or you can just use the built-in variable room width, right? The width of your room. So what I'm asking here is I'm basically saying if the X position of the spaceship is greater than the room width plus another 50. So I don't want it to be exactly room width. Or you might see the ship sort of half get off the screen and then, boop, teleport it to the left side. I want the ship to leave by a couple pixels there, so 50 pixels. And if it does, I just put it right back onto the left side of the screen but off the screen a little bit, so negative 50x, right? So it's sort of off the screen, you won't see it. If you get the right speed there and you try to stop, you can actually stop the shift off screen. Okay, same thing here. I do a little else check here, so if I'm not too far to the right, I can check else if I'm too far to the left. Well, if I'm too far to the left, if my x is less than negative 50, I'm way too far left, then x is the room width plus 50. Okay, so I'm off the screen a little bit to the right. And I'll still be drifting, right? So I'll come back on the screen eventually. So this is a very standard one for the X direction. Uh, it doesn't take too much imagination to see that that's going to be how you wrap in the Y direction. Just use room height, keeping in mind that the top of the room is zero and the bottom of the room is a Y height of room height. So if my Y gets bigger than room height plus 50, way back up to y equals negative 50 and otherwise if I'm less than negative 50 then I wrap to the bottom of the screen room height plus 50 and that's really it so you can change the 50s if you want right but that's your basic idea with room wrap of any of your objects not too bad uh, lots of games can use it I love it for these space games next video I'm gonna talk about the player shooting bullets and uh, then we'll talk about that cool hamburger thrust you see firing out the back of the ship.